A leaf is a plant organ that exists above the ground and is specialized to carry out the process of photosynthesis. Leaves develop at the node of a stem and generally have a flat and lateral structure. Moreover, they are arranged in an acropital order. In other words, they develop in succession from the base to the apex of a stem or a branch. Leaves originate from shoot apical meristems and bear buds in their axle. These auxiliary buds later grow into branches. The meristem found at the tip of a shoot is known as shoot apical meristem. A typical leaf has three main parts leaf base, petiole and lamina. The leaf is attached to the stem by the leaf base and may bear two lateral small leaf-like structures called stipules. In some leguminous plants the base of the leaf may get swollen which is known as pulvinus. The petiole helps the leaf to tilt in the direction of light. If the petiole is long and slender, it helps the leaf to move in the air and bring fresh air to the surface. The lamina is the expanded green portion of a leaf. However, its shape, apex, surface, margin, and extent of incision vary from plant to plant. The lamina also has many veins and veinlets running through it. Usually the lamina has a prominent vein running through its center called the midrib. The arrangement of veins and veinlets in a leaf blade or lamina is called venation. Venation is of two types. Reticulate and parallel. In reticulate venation, the veins within the lamina form a network, a characteristic that is common to dicotyledonous plants. In parallel venation, the veins run parallel to each other, a characteristic typical to monocotyledonous plants. The primary functions of the veins are to transport water, minerals and food and provide rigidity to the lamina. Based on the structure of the lamina, leaves are classified as simple and compound. The lamina of a simple leaf is usually entire. However, when it is incised, the incisions do not touch the midrib. On the other hand, in compound leaves, the incisions reach the midrib and break it into several leaflets. Both simple and compound leaves have a bud in the axil of their petiole. However, buds do not develop in the axil of the leaflets of a compound leaf. Compound leaves are further classified into pinnately and palmately compound leaves. In pinnately compound leaves, there are several leaflets on the common axis or the rachis. The rachis is the midrib of the leaf. In palmately compound leaves, all the leaflets are attached to a common point which is the tip of the petiole. Apart from classifying leaves as simple and complex, they are also identified as opposite, alternate or hauled on the basis of their pattern of arrangement on a stem or a branch. This is termed as phyllotaxy. In opposite phyllotaxy, there are two leaves on one node arranged opposite to each other, as in Calotropis and Guava. 
In alternate phyllotaxy, only one leaf arises at each node and the leaf at the next node is in the opposite direction. Alternate phyllotaxy is seen in plants like hibiscus and sunflower. Finally, in walled phyllotaxy, two or more leaves appear at a node forming a wall as seen in Alstonia. A leaf has many functions. Apart from the primary function of photosynthesis, leaves sometimes get modified to perform functions like storing food, synthesizing food, trapping and digesting food, and providing support and protection. For example, the fleshy leaves of onion and garlic store food. Another plant, the Australian acacia, has petioles that expand, turn green and synthesize food. Also, certain insectivorous plants like the Venus flytrap and the pitcher plant have modified leaves that help capture tiny insects which are food for these plants. These insects are digested by the enzymes secreted by the modified leaves. In the pea plant, some leaves get modified into tendrils which help the plant to climb. Whereas in many cacti, the leaves are modified into spines for protection. Leaves, therefore, are an important part of a plant. Apart from carrying out the chief function of photosynthesis, it stores food and provides protection and support in many plants.